everybody, Sammy Thunder here, uh, back again today with another video. As most of you all may know, today was a card show experience. Uh, there's a huge baseball card show that came to town. Uh, came away with a couple of great, great purchases, which I will showcase at the end. But uh, without further ado, I'd like to kind of jump right into the um, experience. So uh, enjoy, and I'll see you back shortly. You mind if I showcase your, your cards for my YouTube channel, do you? No, feel free. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm starting to make it. Make it. I remember you at the, the county center. Uh, I, you're in, Bro I, I, you're in Brooklyn or something. No, no, no. I haven't done the county center show. No, this is my first West Chester show. I do Hofstra. I do uh, Valley Forge. Anybody looking for anything special? Let me know. We've got a lot of stuff that's not out. What grades do you have in Colfax? Just like uh, no, yeah, it's, those are all 55s. Uh, that's the only Colfax rookie I have. Surprise. Uh, 
I do vintage baseball, basketball in particular, so I see what you have here. Oh, you should get the ball. 53 team ball, Yankees mantle, early oh, yeah. mantle signature on it. Very rare. I'll take, a, I'll take a shot of that. Yeah, that's a rare piece. <laughs> Very cool. I like how you wrote that as a solo rookie card. Because it really... Well, I got that off of eBay. Some guy was selling the same card. He called it the solo rookie. <laughs> it sort of is. Yeah, because his, the, what they call the rookie is a three-panel card. Yeah. And they've, they've done that for, yeah, for years. This is amazing. Very early mantle. What is this? Is the entire Yankee team? Uh, the world Morgan. champion, 26 signatures. Attention uh, all the Mantle, changes. Barra, Rizzuto, Ford, Martin, Allen, Reynolds. Going to be doing but free break for if you zero today. in on the Mantle, um, it's really what his autograph was before he became famous. It was yeah. very stick figure we'll Then when he became famous, he started doing all these curly games. But that's the real rare one. Uh, just come out to the... You have an amazing collection. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, y'all. Thanks for stopping by to check out today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed the baseball card show experience. Uh, it was a massive card show, uh, a lot of great tables, a lot of great stuff for the sets that I'm working on. Uh, today, there, you know, I made two really big purchases and a couple of small purchases to go towards some of the sets I've been working on. Um, so I want to show you first the um, the list, the addition of some of the '59 commons that I purchased. Uh, there was a vintage bin, a vintage, well, not a bin per se, but uh, a vintage a uh, number of boxes from different years and this is kind of like a a very um, reasonable price for some of these cards and so I added to some of the 59 um, the set that I'm working on so without further ado I'll show you what we got here uh, we got Glenn Hobby off the Chicago Cubs here we have uh, Superstar former Rookie of the Year Roy Sievers of the Washington Senators got Harry Hainbrink now, Buddy Daly, George Altman of the Chicago Cubs, Bob Perky of the Cincinnati Red Legs, Russ Kamara of the Washington Senators, Joe Jay of the Milwaukee Braves, Don Fer Ferraris of the Cleveland Indians, got Maury Martin, Cleveland Indians, Bob Trowbridge of the Milwaukee Braves. Uh, these, the, um, they have a section at the show where it's kind of like vintage bargains and you literally have chairs stacked right next to each, not stacked, but set up right next to each other so that set builders like myself could sit down and go through uh, boxes and boxes of cards. It was towards the end of the show when I did this after I made two of my big purchases. I wanted to see where I was financially. And so for 15 bucks, I got these additional cards to kind of go into my binder. Uh, uh, the, that I'm working on right now, the 59. So this made nice, you know, a nice, nice little addition. I could have spent more time, could have invested a little more time in some of the cards, but it was, um, it was getting towards the end of the of my tolerance that I had for the show. I was just, it was very packed, and I was get, I was growing tired, and so I got, I got the, I got some cards that I wanted. I didn't want to spend too much anyway. So very pleased with that, uh, with the purchase. Additionally, um, I definitely wanted to buy some packs because I love the mystery of just breaking into something and hopefully finding, you know, like a Ripken from the 82. Uh, we got the 83, so maybe we can find ourselves a Gwyn and a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. And the 84, we got ourselves Donnie Baseball. So maybe there's a chance we can break into these now and 
hopefully find uh, find what we're looking for. So we're going to do that now because I figured it'd be a lot of fun. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you the two monster purchases that I made. So without further ado, we'll start with the 84 and work backwards. These are all Fleer packs, which I don't have the rookie. I have the Cal Ripken, but I don't have. I don't think I have the Sandberg or the Gwyn or the Mattingly. So let's see what happens. So we started off with the Chicago White Sox card, and we laid us off here with Dave Collins, Kevin Bass, Juan Beniquez, Tom Herr, Nick Asaski, Charlie Ho, Cesar Cedeno, Ima De Jesus, Bruce Benedict, Don Money, Leon Durham, Dave Stapleton, Tim Flannery, there's a Hall of Famer, Harold Baines, and Omar Moreno. Not a great pack, but it's worth the shot. So these are commons here. We'll do the uh, do the 83 next. Wanted to get uh, my hope. My goal is to get one of each, one of each year. So here we have Stephen Braun. Is it stock? No, it's not. Mike Flanagan. Dave Steeb. Here we have uh, Toby Harrah and Thornton. Dick Davis. Lee Lacey. Johnny Lamaster. Another Charlie Ho. Two for two. Dave Winfield and Ken Herbeck. Here's the Hawk. Andre Dawson. That's a nice one. Brad Mills. Tim Flannery. We're two for two with that with him. Dave Beard. Robin Yount and J, uh, J Bell. I forget, no, not J Bell. I forget who that Bell is. Bob Welch. And finally, the 82. Maybe we can find the Ripken in this one. If not, that's all good. It was worth the try. Find the Ripken rookie card in here, maybe. Or Harold Baines' second year. Fernando Valenzuela's second year. We'll see. You got Barry Foote. Ooh, not the oil that we're looking for. Dan Graham, Moose Haas, Steve Dillard, Bob Ojeda, Jerry Kuzman, the Hall of Famer Ted Simmons, Kent Reitz, Carney Lansford. Oh, look at that. I don't have this one. Mike Schmidt. This is a nice beauty. I'm sure Retro Robbie, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm just hearing the Schmidt squawk in my head. Of what it would sound like, but this is a very nice Mike Schmidt. I actually don't, I don't have this card, so a nice addition to the PC for the some of the retro stuff I do collect. I have a checklist. Terry Francona, ooh, another Oriole, not the one we're looking for. Terry Crowley, Hoskin Powell, and Lamar Johnson, but not bad takeaway. I mean, didn't really amount to what I paid for, but that's part of the miss. That's part of the uh, the that's part of the risk of buying these packs, but it was nice little finds. Nothing nothing incredible, but the Schmidt is really nice. I've never seen this one. So it's very cool to find the Schmitty. Um, and you got a Philly sticker to go with it, so even better. Alright, so uh, to unveil the two big purchases that I made today, one of which is probably one of the bigger purchases I've made. It is not a T206 card, uh, surprising, uh, as there was m there were many T206 cards to purchase. Um, but one of which I added for the 59. I've been wanting this card for a while. We got ourselves the Mickey Mantle All-Star card, a high number card. Uh, there is a tiny crease on the corner here, but for the price, uh, they were asking, uh, the value said 200, but there was a 40% discount. So this mantle ended up costing 120 bucks, and um, you know, for the despite the um, the crease, the corners look to be in great shape. Centering is pretty amazing on it. So for the price, uh, definitely worth picking this up to add to the 59 set that I'm working on. So that is one big, that's one one of the two big purchases. The next one is going to be the biggest purchase. Probably the most expensive NBA card I've ever purchased, but it is a long-term investment card, and it will. Um, being a huge Celtics fan, um, and hearing about this player, uh, 
uh, as I was growing up. Um, this will add to my favorite Celtics cards of all time. And that is the 1961 Fleer Bill Russell base card. And so this one, I don't think you can see it. Um, actually, maybe you can if I kind of rotate it a certain way. There is a crease that goes across the white patch uh, towards Bill Russell's name. But despite all that, the card is in great shape. The corners, the sides, there's a little bit of uh, edge wear. But despite all that, this card is in great shape. And um, uh, this was one of the cards I was aiming for to get because I realized um, there's not that many that are out there. And, um, you know, I've, I have Larry Bird cards, I have a Kevin McHale rookie card, I have Dennis Johnson's rookie, I have Robert Parrish's rookie, even though they weren't, though both players were on different teams. Um, it was important for me to try to collect as many Celtics, famous Celtic players. And so finding the Bill Russell, this is not his rookie card, this was classified as his second year, but finding this card was one of the key cards to find today. And I found this for a very good deal. So I'm very, very happy to have this and uh, plan on doing, there's a video uh, a video request for, by RJ Collects Sets. I'm sure some of y'all know, or most of y'all know uh, his channel. And he wants to do kind of like a starting five or starting nine or um, of, the, of your favorite team. And so I love the Mets. I love the New York Giants, but I love the Celtics because I grew up playing basketball. As, and, um, you know, a lot of players from the Celtics were heroes but to me. Uh, my dad grew up a Celtics fan and um, watching Larry Bird. So a lot of that has been passed on to me. You know, Reggie Lewis, um, even when the Celtics were terrible, Antoine Walker and Paul Pierce, I got to, you know, show respect to the Celtics as being a, a huge fan of theirs. But this is my big purchase. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, and uh, before, we, before we leave today, uh, I do just want to mention a few things. Uh, the future, as I always do, the future things that are going to be happening. Let me make this a little bit smaller. That's much better. So, future videos. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm going to do a video on a set building showcase. Um, I am not 100% sure if it's going to be the 1976 Topps Baseball, um, an incomplete, but for the most part, it's pretty stacked. So, um, I might do that one, or I might do the updated 1981-82 Topps NBA set to kind of showcase that. Um, Monday, we're going to uh, come back. Or, uh, it might be Monday or Tuesday. I'm not 100% sure because my job might be taking up most of my day. So uh, if not Monday, then Tuesday. Um, I, have, I purchased off sportscards.com the NBA Star 84-86 box break. And... Also, we have the 1969-1970 Tops uh, NBA box break from sportscards.com. It was just delivered today, so you might do that. Um, and then, of course, Wednesday, we're going to be announcing another winner for the Weekly Vintage. So definitely, uh, if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed what you've seen, you enjoy the card show adventures, you like what you're seeing for the future for videos that we do, uh, please, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell to be kept in the loop for all future videos. I love doing these videos and it really, I, I take a lot of uh, joy and pride in being able to provide these giveaways and uh, to showcase some of the new cards in the collection. So if you don't mind, uh, just take a second to please hit that subscribe button and uh, be on the lookout for more future videos. I appreciate all of y'all watching. I hope y'all have a great, great weekend and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.